The preliminary diagnosis of angina usually is made by the patient's history. The healthcare professional needs to understand what symptoms the patient is experiencing and may ask similar questions in a variety of ways to gain that understanding. To diagnose angina, your healthcare provider will do a physical exam and ask questions about your symptoms. You'll also be asked about any risk factors, including whether you have a family history of heart disease. Part of the history will be to assess risk factors for heart disease. These include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, family history, and smoking. Histories of stroke, cerebrovascular accident or CVA, or peripheral artery disease are both risk factors since the mechanism of these diseases. Hardening of the arteries or atherosclerosis are the same as for heart disease. There are other diseases that can cause chest pain, abdominal pain, shortness of breath, sweating, and nausea and vomiting. Questions may be asked to determine whether other possibilities other than angina exist. Pulmonary embolism, pneumonia, aortic aneurysm, gastroesophageal reflux disease, peptic ulcer disease, and gallbladder disease are bit a few of the potential causes of symptoms other than angina. Physical examination will help narrow the potential list of diseases, but in of itself, will not make the formal diagnosis. Tests used to diagnose and confirm angina include Electrocardiogram also called ECG or EKG is quick and painless test measures the electrical activity of the heart. Sticky patches are placed on the chest and sometimes the arms and legs. Wires connect the electrodes to a computer, which displays the test results. An ECG can show if the heart is beating too fast, too slow or not at all. Your healthcare provider also can look for patterns in the heart rhythm to see if blood flow through the heart has been slowed or interrupted. Chest X-ray shows the condition of the heart and lungs. A chest X-ray may be done to determine if other conditions are causing chest pain symptoms and to see if the heart is enlarged. Blood tests. Certain heart enzymes enter the bloodstream when the heart muscle is damaged, such as from a heart attack. A cardiac enzyme blood test can help detect these substances. Stress test. Sometimes angina is easier to diagnose when the heart is working harder. A stress test typically involves walking on a treadmill or riding a stationary bike while the heart is monitored. Other tests may be done at the same time as a stress test. If you can't exercise, you may be given drugs that mimic the effect of exercise on the heart. Echocardiogram An echocardiogram uses sound waves to create images of the heart in motion. These images can show how blood flows through the heart. An echocardiogram may be done during a stress test. Nuclear stress test A nuclear stress test helps measure blood flow to the heart muscle at rest and during stress. It is similar to a routine stress test, but during a nuclear stress test, a radioactive tracer is injected into the bloodstream. A special scanner shows how the tracer moves through the heart arteries. Areas that have little or no amounts of the tracer suggest poor blood flow. Cardiac computerized tomography. For this test, you typically lie on a table inside a donut shaped machine. An x ray tube inside the machine rotates around the body and collects images of the heart and chest. A cardiac CT scan can show if the heart is enlarged or if any heart's arteries are narrowed. Cardiac Magnetic Resonance Imaging This test uses magnetic fields and radio waves to create detailed images of the heart. You typically lie on a table inside a long, tube-like machine that produces detailed images of the heart's structure and blood vessels. Coronary Angiography 
Coronary angiography uses X-ray imaging to examine the inside of the heart's blood vessels. It's part of a general group of procedures known as cardiac catheterization. Thank you.